Hey fellas, Ed here, Models and Beer. Um, how's everybody doing this tonight? Um, Halloween night. I had no, absolutely no trick-or-treaters, which is a good thing because I didn't feel like getting up and sitting down all night. So that works out great. <laughs> Hope everybody had a good Halloween. Um, guys, just a really quick video. I want to do a couple of shop card shout-outs that I got the, through the past week here. And I want to give you an update on my Komatsu G40 Bulldozer. I have it completed. I did the hairspray technique on it. Um, it was, a, I think you remember from the last video, it was a tiny, tiny model this thing ended up to be. And the hairspray technique, probably not the best technique to use on something so small, but it did work out. Um, but it would, you know, I think it would, that's better suited to a larger, to a larger model than, a, you know, um, a 148 scale of a, of a bulldozer but I'll show you what I came up with at the end here and now all I got to do is we're going to set that into a diorama that I'm going to do my very first diorama so um, we'll see how that turns out but really quick let me just do some shout outs here for um, a couple of fellas and I'm sure both of you guys are, are you guys already know both of these guys um, I got one here for let me get my thing going here um, Jeff's Garage, Jeff's Model Garage. Jeff, thank you so much for the card. Uh, very cool picture for this one. I love that. And Jeff is sitting at 1,043 subscribers as of this video. Um, if you haven't visited Jeff's um, channel yet, go over and give him a look. He's into a little bit of everything. Um, really good guy and... Um, great channel so Jeff thank you so much for the card and then I got one here from Don Don's garage the fat man from Alabama I like that <laughs> I like the fat man from Alabama that's way cool uh, super cool card Don thank you so much and I appreciate the words on the back and um, guys if you haven't visited Don's page go over and, and check it out Don is at 939 subscribers as of the making of this video another really good guy um good builder um go over to his page check him out give him a like and a sub if you haven't done so already so thank you guys for the cards and once again guys if you want one of my cards um shoot me a email i'll put my my email in the description below and send me your address and i'll get you one out let me um one of mine up so you can take a peek at it here's one of my cards and like I said I'll be happy to send one out to you and you don't have to send me a card if you don't have a card don't worry about it um, I'll send you one of mine either way and if you do have a card I'd like to get one of yours so appreciate it thank you guys and let me give you the update on my Komatsu bulldozer let me show you what I ended up with let me clear some space here and actually you know what let me flip to the overhead i think it'll be a little bit easier to see be right back all right here we go fellas this is looking down on our bulldozer and sorry about the shadow going on there i'm not sure why that's happening i guess because of the angle of my light but we got our japanese soldier here and you can see the weathering that i did on this and again i did use the hairspray technique for the chipping if you're not familiar with that technique, um, there's plenty of YouTube videos, um, how to's on, you know, on how to do this. I did not film the, the weathering of this um, or the build of it. I just built it and this is the finished product. I will be doing a diorama. I'm going to set this guy into a diorama that I'm going to do and I will um, film that step by step strictly because it's my first diorama. And I just kind of want to document that. So here we go. Let's get into this. Um, here's the top view. And it came up. I mean, the weathering came up pretty good. But it is tough to do on a, on a build this on this scale. Um, but let me give you the, the run around here. Now, these tracks are going to have build up a mud and stuff after I get it set into the diorama. So I wasn't really too concerned about 
you know, the weathering of, of, of that up. But I did put some weathering on here in the event that there's some space in between the mud and stuff where that's visible, you know, then I, it'll have a little bit of color and depth to it. Here's the back. Here's the other side. And I, I beat it up pretty good with weathering. But like I said, I think once it gets into the diorama with the mud and, you know, everything that I want, that that's going to really add to the effect. And here's the Japanese soldier. Uh, it's hard to, he's so tiny, it's hard to get in there and see anything. I did use the uh, tester's window maker on, the, on these headlights here. And let me back away a little bit. You can see the shine on it just to give it a lens because it was it was just a plain plastic so i kind of think that added a little to it and the bottom i didn't worry about weathering that too much because it's going to be planted down in the mud so you're not even ever going to see that but yeah there you have it guys that is my tamiya 148th scale of the japanese komatsu g40 bulldozer and Tiny little kit, super fun. Um, if you're in for a challenge, I highly re recommend this kit. And it's not very expensive at all. I mean, it's I paid with the points that I had built up through Hobby Link. I paid a total of eight dollars for this for this kit. And shipping was extra. I think it was like another seven dollars for shipping or something, six or seven dollars. I don't remember now. But yeah. Um, a lot of fun and like i said i think in the previous video it went to, together super well um it was a well-engineered kit so if you put this together it will go together flawlessly and so there we have it i just wanted to show you that really really quick and i'm going to start the diorama here in the next few days i might go back to the arizona for a little bit and set this on the back burner and then i'll come back to it but Guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys who sub. And like I said, if you want one of my shop cards, uh, shoot me an email and I will get you one right out. Everybody have a great blessed week and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.